This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. It is a major coming up. Uh, we're using a kitchen device. That you, uh, some people call it crock pot, but right. the generic name, I guess, is slow cooker. Slow cooker. This is so easy because you can put all the ingredients in. You can go to work. You yeah. can go play, and you come back, and voila, you've got a home meal. Like so we've that. got a couple of great recipes for you. Nutritious, affordable meals. The whole family will love this winter. Today's lunch break, dust off that slow cooker. We're making some incredible time-saving and affordable nutritious meals. Lynn Dugan is a registered dietitian and instructor at Marcel's Culinary Experience in Glen Ellen. And I know you've got some classes yes, I that do. people can take, like slow cooker classes. Yes, they're a lot of fun. Thanks for having me today. It's such a great idea because it's so easy. All it takes it is. is a little organization. And sometimes I find myself not being that organized to do it, but it's simple. I have to say it solves the what's for dinner question right at 5 o'clock when you have no idea what you're making. Right. It's already made. So you can start fresh in the morning. Get your get your ingredients in your slow cooker, set it to start, and you're, it's done when you get home from work. Now, folks, you probably have them at home because, I, you know, I know I have a very old one, but you say the new varieties yes. actually don't necessarily just cook slowly. There's a little no. fast. <laughs> yeah, this, actually, this, this slow cooker has three different temperature settings. You can cook on low, cook on high like the old ones used to, mm -hmm. but I could also brown or saute in this slow cooker. Wow, so it's you can awesome. do everything there without yeah. having to wash extra pans. Right, exactly. You, you can brown your meat in here ahead of time, but the recipe I wanted to share with you today the uh, white chicken chili. I actually saute uh, onions and um, peppers, three different peppers in here when I get started to start my um it's still getting hot. So right. This is the um, onions and garlic. Mm -hmm. And then I have three peppers. This is for the white chicken chili. What kinds of peppers do you have in there? Bell peppers? Of uh, yes, I have a bell pepper, I have jalapeno and a poblano. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'll saute these ahead of time. Um, and get them kind of soft and fragrant with the spices. I use cumin and coriander, mostly cum cumin. It's like a three to one cumin coriander. And then we'll just saute these um, and wait till they get a little soft. And then on top, we'll add, I'm gonna add some more peppers. We're gonna put the chicken on top of that. And what's great is when you heat this up and the spices get really fragrant, that's gonna give the chicken deliver that flavor to the chicken over the hours that it cooks in the slow cooker. So. Right. And when you're doing a white chili, I think you need a lot of good spices. Otherwise, it tends to be a bit bland. Yeah. Well, and because we add beans, too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. we. Um, I'm going to put the, the chicken right on top. So you put the chicken in raw? Yep, I do. Wow. Yep. And it's easier than I thought. It's very, very easy. Okay. So the... Um, the peppers and the spices are in there, mm -hmm. and then um, I'm going to put the beans on top, and then I'm going to just pour some chicken broth, and moist heat is how things cook in the slow cooker, and I think what's new about the recipes that um, I'm sharing with you today are just, we're using things that have big flavor, like all those peppers, the spices that have been heated and, and permeate through that chicken, and then we'll just change the setting on this from the brown set, browning set, saute mm -hmm. to a low slow cook. It's just a little click of the button. I wanted to ask you about the beans being a nutritionist sure, because sure. I know if you buy the canned ones, which it looks like they are mm -hmm. there, if you rinse them off, yep. does it reduce the sodium levels? It does. Okay. Significantly. I wasn't sure yes. if it was all in there and you couldn't really get rid of it. It does reduce the sodium in the canned beans. So it's I, I use canned beans in my recipes all the time because okay. of the protein and the fiber. And right, just, of course. Yeah, they're And I know that that's what they've been talking about is trying to incorporate yep. more beans and, you know, the, the protein that's non-meat protein. Yep, yep. Wonderful. Yep. Okay. And we didn't put any other salt in here, so it was just the, the seasoning from here is going to be the cumin and the coriander. And then when we finish this dish, um, you take the chicken out mm -hmm. and it, you just shred it so that your, um, this gets, this is the meat for your chicken chili. Sure. And then the finished dish looks like this. And all we need to do is garnish it with um, a little fresh lime and um, cilantro, which is, what's, what's neat about this dish is you're going to get the slow cook flavors from the slow cooker and then you finish it with two fresh flavors, the lime and the cilantro. Right. So, so yeah, wonderful. And I use, um, instead of sour cream, I use non-fat plain Greek yogurt. It's my favorite sour cream substitute. High in, uh, high in protein and uh, low in fat. So Wonderful. Yeah. All right, yeah. another good substitution. And let's just go through the okay. second recipe quickly. What are you making sure. for the second one? This is a jalapeno and portobello braised beef. Mm. And there's no 
pre-prep except just assemble the, the sauce. And the sauce is very fragrant. It's got some brown sugar, um, Worcestershire, um, low sodium soy sauce, a little bit of red wine vinegar, and then I add a little bit of tapioca because this will be what gives it a little bit of thickening in the slow cooker. Oh, oh wow. So then I just pour it over the meat that's in the slow cooker. These are boneless short ribs and they're very lean and this sauce will then provide the moist heat that you need to cook the short ribs and then I'm going to top it with some sliced portobello mushrooms and um, a little bit of peppers and onions I have jalapeno. And then you serve that over polenta. Yes. We've got the step-by-step -step recipes that we're going to have on our website. And then if people want to take your class, they can do that as well. Marcel's Culinary Experiences Savvy Slow Cooking Class is Friday, February 5th from 9.30 to 11. It's at 490 North Main Street in Glen Ellen. The cost is about $35 and includes a brunch. So you're getting fed as well. That's you right. can call the number on your screen or visit MarcellsCulinaryExperience.com. We'll have a link on our webpage as well. And as I mentioned, we'll have step-by-step -step directions because really these slow cooker recipes good healthy and easy yes. <laughs> thank Thanks you so much wgntv.com slash midday